what's happening. Mm. Throughout all my life, I realized one thing that black people want in America, and, and that's equality. I know that that's what black people have been fighting for since they've been here on this land we call America. And it's crazy to me. That's all black people want is to be treated fairly in the Caucasians, Caucasian man's world. That's real talk. And I'm here to tell you, you know what I'm saying? Like so many generations have fought for equality and have lost. Why? Because let's just be real. If I were a Caucasian man, I wouldn't want to give up my white, white privilege for no one. No one. If I come in first place every time in, in America, I wouldn't want to share that with someone. And I know what you all are going to say. Oh, that's unfair. And that's ungodly and this and that and so forth. You know how much unfairness and ungodly that goes on on this planet? Real talk. And speaking of God, to be real with you, why would God allow this to go on if he exists? Why won't God intervene in giving the black man and woman equality in America? Real talk. Like, is he in on it too as well? Because I, I could be real with you. I mean, let, let's just keep it 100, man. Nobody wants black people to be treated fairly in America. Why? Because blacks spend, they have 1.8 trillion spending dollars. That means that we are some of the biggest consumers. I didn't say the number one. I said some of the biggest consumers on the planet. Real talk. And if we're treated fairly and equal, then how is it that other races are going to be able to take advantage of us? Because see, the church, which is the representation of God, is in the community. You know, you do realize, realize God needs money. He does. It's called 10%. Tithing. Um... The Asians, they make money off of us. They plant in just about every community. Well, I say hood. I, I guess you can say that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, nail shops. Beauty supply stores. And Chinese food restaurants. The Italians are able to capitalize off of us with, with their pizzerias. Shall I go on? It's ne things are never going to change for the blacks. Never. And it seems as though black people don't want things to change. We don't want to have the responsibility of creating our own. We want to be totally dependent. Like to be real with you, I'm not even lying. White America should claim uh, us on their taxes. Straight up. Because we're totally dependent on massa. That's real talk. And I love it when some of you all get in the com get when I do these type of videos. I love it when some of you all go, um, go on the comment section of these videos and say, you know what, we're not a defeated race and we're not this and that and so forth. Yes, we are. We are a conquered race. We are. We speak his language. We carry on his paganistic holidays, his traditions. We wear what he wears. We share the same interests. And we abide by the same slogan, when in Rome, do what the Romans do. Even though, you know, Romans, the hierarchies, they were pederasts. But it's crazy, man. It's crazy. And this is the reason why I don't like to call myself black or be part of the black community because basically when you say that you're black that's just stating that you're weak real talk real talk man we are definitely a conquered race our black men are feminine feminine our women are um are more masculine 
And I see more and more, you know what I'm saying, black women, you know what I'm saying, really taking on the, tra the traditions of being the man in a relationship. And if they're not masculine and taking on the, the, the traditions of being a man in a, mas uh, uh, in a relationship, you know what I'm saying, they're independent women to the point where they, they no longer have uh, uh, traditional uh, uh, pregnancies. Now you hear a lot of black women freezing their eggs. You know what I'm saying? For real. Like, I'm going to get my eggs frozen. And then when I find the proper time, when, when I want to actually, you know what I'm saying, have a child, then I'll go to a sperm bank and get it, get, get go through the whole, you know what I'm saying, an artificial process of having a, a child. Instead of, you know what I'm saying, having a child a natural way. I'll find it, uh, uh, I'll, I'll get it artificially inseminated in a surrogate mom and have her have it. Until then, I'll pay a rental fee per month, per year for my for, for, for the space for my eggs to be frozen in. This is crazy to me. But we're not a conquered race. We're not a defeated race. This is crazy to me. We are far removed from our African traditions to the point where a lot of us don't even claim to be African. We're just American. And that's, that's, that's just bananas to me. And then for others that say, you know what? I'm not African. I'm American. I was born here. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not going to leave my home. Well, how is it that your home, how is it that the, the what you call your home is actually the enemy's territory. How can you make this your home when you're constantly harassed? When you're constantly mistreated? And I did a video about this yesterday with Taraji P. Henson crying on, on TV. When you're constantly underpaid. How is that your home? How is it that you call at your home? It just doesn't make sense to me. Nobody's going to give you any type of equality in America. No one. Because it's not in their personal interest for black people to be treated fairly and equal. It, you, do you understand that people make money off of our pain? Like, there wouldn't be any type of, you know, Man, this is just, this is horrible to talk about. This is horrible to talk about. But there won't be any type of these hood, hood movies being played. Rappers wouldn't be shooting and killing each other if there was equality. If all neighborhoods was fair and equal, black people would be going to college, graduating. There'd be absolutely no drama in the black community, so therefore there wouldn't be hardly any reality uh, TV shows, rap songs, talking about shooting and killing each other and selling drugs. You know how much money is to be made off of the black plight? You know how much money people make off of black people being in jail, incarcerated? You know how much did you do? Judicial mm -hmm, I said it right. system or courts make the courthouses? Man, every Monday I see it. Every Monday you go down uptown in Charlotte, the courthouse. The damn line is wrapped around the motherfucking uh, courthouse building full of black people. It's not in their best interest to, to treat us fair and equal. Too much money to be made when they're treating us unfair. That's real shit. Drama is a is a money maker. And that's what we all we all have that in, in the black community. That's all we go through. There'll be no uh what is it? Uh child support? 
I mean, come on, man. I could go on with this. In a world where black people have treated fair and equal, black people wouldn't be so materialistic. We wouldn't care about what kind of clothes we got on and all the rest of that shit. Our objectives would be elsewhere. Timberland, uh, 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 Louis Vuitton, uh, 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 Gucci, and the list goes on. Wouldn't be able to make any money if black people were treated fair and equal in America. If you get my drift, if you understand where I'm coming from. And it's crazy to me, man. For black people to actually entertain the thought of one day, you know, we're going to be treated fair and equal. That's crazy to me let me let me tell you this seriously i'm not even trying to be funny it it sounds science fictional you know what i'm saying to some of you all but i've been talking about this for at least about 12 years now i've been trying to get y'all to, 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 to get on board but ain't nobody listen nobody don't ever listen now everybody's talking about automation artificial intelligence technological technological singularity the singularity you know Neuralink, ecto life all of that shit but let me explain something to you. Before a black man or woman is treated fairly in America, they'll get rid of your ass. That's real talk. And that's what they're doing, slowly but surely. Our jobs are being taken away. And now they're being replaced with worker bots. There's a reason, there's a specific reason why they're flooding our communities with illegal aliens. For what little bit of money that we making What little bit of money that we got left over What little bit of pinch of hope that we have for America Is going to be gone In the near future And it's crazy because People such as myself You know, they'll call us, you know, the ignorant The niggas will call, call people such as myself Like, I don't know like, like, man, you always bitching about something yeah, what, what I'm bitching about is what you should be listening to. You see, you're so caught in your circle or your bubble. Or should I say, let me say it a little different way. You're caught into your box. Not realizing that the box that you're caught in, someone made that for you. And you're not thinking outside of it. And that's the problem. That's the reason why when I do these videos, for some of you all, I'm saying this. That's how it sounds. For real. It's like Delta, or should I say spirit, spirit going over your head. Because y'all can't overstand this. But it's time. It's time for y'all to get on board. Because time is not running out, it's ran. It's it's taking its course. It's over. And black people, seriously, ain't nobody playing with you. Ain't nobody playing games due to contrary belief. Ain't nobody playing fucking games with you anymore. Straight up. It is not in the best interest of America, let alone anyone that makes money off of black people. For black people to be treated fair and equal. It's not. You think, oh, this person or that person or that race is, and that race is, 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 is for us? No. No, they're not. Everyone is in on our demise. Because it's profitable. Straight up. It's profitable. And it's like, Seriously, like, who's going to invest in us? Truth be told, we don't want to even invest in ourselves. Straight up. Name a few black-owned businesses that sell essential things, like things that we need. Like, I don't want to hear about barbershops. I don't want to hear about soul food. 
kitchen. Uh, you can get the, man. They got some good fried chicken over there. I don't want to hear like, catfish as well. I don't want to hear about that. I don't want to hear about nail salons. I don't want to hear about the, oh, they got the best hair braider. You know, I don't want to hear about none. Of that. I'm talking about essential things, things that you need in life. Name a few black black owned businesses that's really like doing it, where I can go and get toilet tissue, toothbrushes, toothpaste, deodorant, socks, underwear, dish detergent, laundry detergent. And I'm saying, li listen to this. As well, name, name those black owned businesses that sell essential things, as well as them being competitive with Caucasian brands. Because I can tell you, I could go to the store with a coupon, an e-coupon, and get half off, you know what I'm saying, for my, my toilet tissue. Or I could go to Harris Teeter and I got the Vic card, I could scan that and get a buy one, get one free. Like, come on, man. Come on. Nah, they want us to they want us to stay exactly where we're at. Straight up. Exactly where we're at. It's not it's not in their best interest. It's not in no one's best interest for black people to be treated fair and equal. It's, it's just not. I mean, who's gonna buy shit? Who's gonna be the race that contributes 1.8 trillion spending dollars to America? Who's gonna fill that void in? So you may say, what's the solution, Aunt Langston? Because you keep on talking about the problems. I gave you the solution in the last video. Look at the last video that I did with Taraji P. Newton. Because I've been saying this shit for the longest. Nobody's listening. And that's the reason why we're not going to ever be treated fair and equal. Because we don't ever want to sever ties and form our own. Yo, we've been doing this so many years, man. Generation after generation after generation after generation after generation. You continue to do the same thing, expecting different results. That's insanity. That's what that's called. Ain't nobody going to give us no type of equality. No one. But, man, keep on fighting. As a... Uh, Je yeah, Jesse Jackson, he said, as Jesse Jackson would say, keep hope alive. <laughs> Your mouth.